Well, joining us in the Phoenix locker room today is number 31, Phoenix netminder Stephen Murphy. Stephen, welcome to Phoenix TV. Thank you, it's good to be here. Now, Stephen, as we head into the third quarter of the Elite League season, uh, I guess everyone looks to netminders and uh, looks to the form going into the, into the stretch. Are you pleased with your own form at present? Yeah, I am. I think I'm pretty pleased with myself. You know, I've had a couple of good weekends, past few weekends, and as a team, I'm pretty happy as well. You know, I think we're we're playing well at the moment. You know, a couple of close games could have went our way and would have made a big difference. But I mean, pretty confident overall. And uh, for a netminder, a couple of clean sheets recently. Shutouts are always good for confidence. Yeah, definitely. It's great. You know, the the more the better, definitely. And. It's what you aim to do every game, really, and it's, uh, it's it's tough to get them. So when you do, it's just, it's pretty it's pretty good for your confidence, pretty good for the team as well. Now, one thing that's always asked of netminders is, is at the other end of the ice is another guy in the same same kind of equipment as your good self. Do you take a lot of attention or pay a lot of attention to the guy at the other end? Um, generally, no. You you kind of play your own game, really, and um, you know it's. You're always aware that they're, you know, they're doing the same job as you and they're trying to do the same things as you are. Um, but, you know, you, if, if they're having a good game, you're obviously you're trying to have a good game as well. But every game you're trying to, you're trying to do it, go out and uh, stop the pucks, basically. So, you know, you just got to focus on that. Do you ever feel sympathy for the guy at the other end when, uh, if things are going really well in the Phoenix favour? I wouldn't say sympathy, no. You know, you, you know how he feels, so you know, you know how, what's going on in his head and... You know, ultimately, you want your team to be scoring the goals, so you know you got to be happy for that. Now, you talk about what's going on in the head, and there's a lot of people have said over the years that goalies don't have a lot between their ears because they wouldn't do it if they did have. What's the feeling for yourself? What what made you turn into becoming an ice hockey goalie? You know, it's just it's kind of one of those things where I think always as a kid, you know, when I was playing, I always wanted to be in goals. I always wanted to just be. You know, energetic stopping things, and just even was it wasn't you know it wasn't anything to do with sport in the house and stuff. I'd always be diving around trying to stop things, and and it's just one of those things. It's a natural uh, you know process for me to go into goals, and you know I, I'm glad I've you know I've never looked back and I've enjoyed it. Were you one of those kids then that was often throwing himself across the bed practicing his diving? Yeah, definitely. You know, everywhere in the house, you know, in the living room, everywhere, I was always. Trying to, I was getting my parents to throw things at me, and I was trying to stop them. And yeah, I was as a kid, I was that's kind of how I always I was played, and you know, it just made sense for me to step into the goals. Now you were, you come originally from Dundee up in Scotland, but you started in Paisley and then moved to Fife, and and from there on, you certainly haven't been afraid to move around to follow your career, have you? Yeah, definitely. I think it's it's been sort of a part of my career that I've really enjoyed doing, and and it's an experience that I really, you know. I, as part of my choices, you know, is to, to see what the new experiences I can have from, you know, playing in different countries like Norway and Sweden and so on. And, and you know, I, I find that part of the, the career is, uh, you know, a special part to, to sort of look forward to as well. And, of course, you, you enjoyed success in your hometown as, as a member of Tony Han's Dundee Stars. Yeah, that's right. That was one of my favourite seasons so far and, you know, had a great time. We had a great bunch of guys. We won a lot of things and won a lot of games. And, and obviously, it was a pleasure to be under, you know, Tony Han's coaching for his, his first time in his, in his career as well. It was his first coaching job and, you know, it was a great success, which is even better to be a part of, you know. And even better to do it in front of your home hometown support as well. Yeah, definitely. You know, I still have a lot of family in Dundee, and they were at every game. And you know, it was it was good. You know, I was I, I hadn't been in Dundee for a while, and it also gave me a chance to get back to my hometown and and see more of my family. And it was it was great. Yeah, it was a great time. I really enjoyed it.